Good afternoon, everybody. Please excuse me if I seem nervous up here. The last time I spoke in front of an audience was at my bar mitzvah. As I stand before you today, filled with naive optimism for the future, I can't help but marvel at what BU has given me in such a short time. This is the place where I met some of my greatest friends, discovered what I want to do with my life, and also avoided dealing with my parents in person for months at a time. My mom, my mom actually learned how to text message so we could stay in touch. You might think it's charming to get a text from your mom that says, OMG, with a smiley face, but it's not. It's just weird. Frightening texts from mom aside, I have to admit that what everybody told me about college when I was younger turned out to be true. This was the greatest time of my life. BU was the place where I went from being an awkward teen to being an awkward adult. But what really strikes me at this moment is how my fellow graduates and I shared experiences that either marked our entry into adulthood or showed just how childish we really were. Many of us cast our first ballots right here, taking our first real political positions and putting away the old anarchy t-shirt from high school. We even witnessed the election of the first black president. And if you were on campus that night, you know that it was an unforgettable experience. Yeah. And one which showed that sometimes the moment demands that fireworks be shot off illegally at midnight. We turned 21 here, fully entering into adulthood. I doubt any of us can remember those nights, but I'm sure they were all magical. For better or worse, we shared concerts and events together. Drake, the Foo Fighters, Ron Jeremy, don't worry, that was just a debate. John Stewart, Kid Cudi, the Phantom Broken Leg at Taken Back Sunday, Snooky, and an incoherent Bob Dylan. On the more youthful side, we also built igloos, fought over computers in the pods, and played Nintendo 64 until a permanent blister formed on the right thumb, at which point, you learn to play lefty. We crammed 20 people into one cab just to. <laughs> just to go to the same old bars where most of the evening was spent squished up against a massive bouncer who was purposely wearing a t shirt that could fit a 12 year old girl. Then. After eating pizza that should have tasted nasty, but instead tasted like triangular slices of heaven, we would cram 25 people back into a cab slash clown car, go home, complain about downtown and how we had grown out of it, just to return yet again the following weekend. In truth, we loved it all. And those are the things that are going to bring smiles to our faces 30 years from now. I seriously hope that this blister goes away soon, though. Despite all these wonderful memories, Binghamton's greatest contribution to us will never be something that happened in the past. It's what's happening within us right now. Think back to high school. Are you the same person now that you were back then? If you truly experienced Binghamton University, then your answer to this question has to be no. In high school, Everything is about fitting in. In college, it's about breaking out. Being grouped with such a large number of people forces you to put yourself out there, lest you become the kid who spends three straight days in his dorm watching every episode of The Sopranos. Ah, freshman year. You want to meet new people. You want to express your opinion. You want to be a weekend warrior. Yeah, you guys know. If you need proof of how this place can pull you out of your shell, look no further than the person before you now. 
I came to BU as an overly self-conscious teenager who never wanted to take a stance on any issue for fear of seeming peculiar. Yeah. Now I'm leaving BU as an agnostic vegetarian environmentalist. <laughs> for my vegetarians out there. How did this happen? I know for a fact that my parents are still asking the same question. And the answer is that this personality makeover, Binghamton edition, happened for a few reasons. It happened because I took classes here that opened my mind to new ideas, with teachers who encouraged me to discover what I truly believe in, and then to express those beliefs clearly and forcefully. It happened because a group of strangers became like brothers and sisters to me. And after cracking jokes about my bizarre viewpoints for the socially required period of time, they showed themselves to be the most thoughtful, most loyal friends that an offbeat philosophy major could ever ask for. But most importantly, it happened because my family was there to support me at every step. So, when I came home for any break, I could count on the fridge being stocked with veggie burgers and sesame seed tofu. I know, you're all extremely jealous. All these factors came together to give me one thing which I seriously needed. Courage. The courage to accept who I am as a person, the courage to stand by my principles, and the courage to laugh at the principles which make me the person I am. As Groucho Marx once said, these are my principles. If you don't like them, I have others. And, as you can probably tell, BU helped give me the courage to throw myself into situations where I'm clearly out of my comfort zone. So, since I'm already here, I may as well take one last daring step and put before my fellow graduates a permanent challenge to carry into the future. If your years at BU have been the greatest time of your life, as they have been for me, I challenge you to make what comes next even better. I challenge you to keep meeting new people, to keep speaking up, and to continue being a weekend warrior. I challenge you to learn more about who you are by voicing your thoughts and feelings in any given situation. You'll find that we all have our strange little quirks that set us apart from one another. As Robin Williams said in Good Will Hunting, people call these things imperfections, but they're not. That's the good stuff. My time at BU has allowed me to, has allowed me to see how very true this is. It's just a matter of whether or not we have the courage to show who we really are. I challenge you to always find that courage. Thank you, class of 2011, and good luck.